You ever see those couples that are just so cute and make you ill? Yeah, I see that all the time, especially when they're doing public displays of affection. It makes me want to just like, I don't know, maybe beat them with a sack of soap and just wail on both of them until they stop doing that every time they see each other. It's just too cute and it makes me want to throw up basically right over them after I've beaten them with soap. I don't know why soap though. It was just the first thing that came to my mind. Maybe because it's clean. I could clean them after I throw up on them, so. Well, I'm kind of sick of these people. Yet yeah, at the same time, I watch their videos constantly. Just constantly watch them. I don't know if it's because I'm drawn to it or if I just want to hate on it. But something about these videos always make me watch it. So today we're going to talk about the five YouTube couples so cute, it makes me sick. So we're going to start with number five, and that is Shannon Beveridge and Cammie Scott from Now This Is Living. And you can watch all their stuff and, and see exactly why I think they're so cute that it's sick. But let's just start with the fact that they're gorgeous girls. Like, come on, look at them. Just look at them for a second. I mean, this is every straight guy's lesbian dream. I mean, the girl next door is who just kind of met and hooked up one day. Even I'm fantasizing about it. They're that gorgeous. And keep in mind that these girls are constantly in each other's videos. They may have separate social media, but they have one community video channel. And it is really cute where they do all these cutesy things and like the newlywed game with other couples. And it's just so sickening. I. I don't know why I watch it. Yet I do. I'm sucked right in, you little bitches. Oof. 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 I love you, but I hate you. I love you, but I hate you. I feel like that's every relationship that I ever have ever with anything. I love you so much, I hate you. And then there's number four, and that is pretty much Jenna Marbles and Julian Solomita from their self-named channels. I mean, they have two separate ones, but I'm pretty sure Jenna Marbles is kind of the breadwinner when it comes to the channel with her, like, 10 million subscribers that Julian's, like, like half a million <laughs> subscribers but they do work together on a lot of Jenna's stuff and it's actually really cute because you can tell that he does all the camera work for her videos and whatever you could tell that they're just two weirdos who found each other very early in age and just loved each other even if you watch their vlogs they don't really go out and do much they just sit around at home and they love it they're like two introverted people who found each other and just do shit and just do random shit like, why can't everyone have that relationship? Why can't I find that in a relationship? It's probably because I'm a pretty terrible person and no one really want to get with this and I probably wouldn't want to get with anyone else either. So, I mean, there's that. Now, if you watch Jenner Marble's channel, you can tell that all she does is really kind of do videos that make her laugh. And that's probably why people fell in love with her is because she just found it funny and everyone finds it funny that she finds it funny, which is great. That's a great concept. I mean, I wish I thought of it first. But the, she's a little bit older and a little bit more wiser than me. And she actually has a master's, I believe, in some type of, I believe it's psychology. So she's a bit smarter than me, too. But you can tell that when they're in the videos together that they truly enjoy each other's company. I mean, there's not any other people really ever in their videos. So it's just them just constantly doing things that make each other laugh. And that's the best part about it. And yet when you sit there and watch it, you're laughing with them and then slowly thinking about how the fact that you're alone forever and you're gonna die alone and they're gonna be happy forever and probably see each other in another life when they become reincarnated and your new reincarnated life is probably also very lonely so keep it up keep in mind too that they're also super even more cute because they have three dogs three little dogs that they pretty much put in every fucking video and they're adorable especially when she dresses them up and puts stuff on them or makes them eat goofy things that are healthy. She doesn't harm them. She's an animal lover just like me. And then we move on to number three. Number three is not necessarily a couple. I, I only want to call them a couple because they're kind of like in each other's videos a lot and I'm not digging on their sexuality. They could be whatever they want to be, but I've seen lots of Tumblr fan fiction and it is very homoerotic. All sorts of dick just everywhere. It's just insane. Before I forget what I'm talking about, we're gonna talk about Dan Howell and Phil Lester from Dan Is Not On Fire and The Amazing Phil. 
Now, I know that they're probably straight and Dan Howell and Phil Lesser, they, they really don't talk about their sexuality, which is good. No one needs to know about their sexuality. It's their business and no one needs to care about it. Yeah, I'm gonna bring them into this couple-y thing because I just, they're so cute together. Like, even if they're not a couple, as friends, they are adorable together. They're this weird vibe of nerdy and just British, which, come on, that's not fair. Keep in mind too that I might be considering it because they're both very innocent. I mean, Dan Howell may have a little bit of that kind of naughty side, but at the same time, he's uh, he's very innocent. He he draws in the little high school girl crowd, and so does Phil actually too, and maybe even younger. And especially when they're Dan and Phil games, when they play games together, and they're just laughing at each other and making fun of each other, it's just kind of cute. It's just really sweet and really fun to watch because their their friendship overcomes everything else. They don't. They may not be in relationships with anybody that I know of, and it's not really my business. But at the same time, it's just kind of cute to watch. So that is why they're number three. They may not be a couple, but they also do make me sick. Their friendship is so cute, it makes me sick, all right? I, I, it's just there. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Your friendship is sickening, Dan and Phil. Sickening. Keep it up, I love watching your shit, though. And then we have number two. Number two is kind of my favorite couple, mainly because like if I could meet them, I'd be pretty excited, just saying. And that couple is Jamie Pine and Mike Cherry. Jerry, Cherry? It's Jerry, but my accents, my Michigander accent sometimes comes out with J's and ch. Jerry. Now you can find their channel, which is actually named after themselves, so it's very easy to find. So Mike Jerry and Jamie Pine, which is very simple to find. Just go look it up if you want to see how adorable these fuckers are. It's really sickening. It truly is. And to make it more sickening, Jamie Pine actually uploaded his proposal video to YouTube for all the world to watch. So you can watch them get engaged and you can still sit there alone and cry in your self to bed because you've got nobody to be next to for the rest of your life. I feel kind of like I'm depressing everybody with this video, but I'm gonna post it anyways, cause go fuck yourself. Now when you watch Jamie Pine's vlogs, you kind of get the sense that they're kind of an old bickering couple, which at the same time when you see that, you just kind of like, that's so cute! Why is this so cute? They're just bitching at each other. Why is bitching at each other so cute? Actually, let's figure that out for a second because I'm still baffled as to why people enjoy watching other people bicker and think that it's kind of adorable. But we do. It's just something that we do. Like, oh, they're bickering like an old couple. They're going to be together forever. That's a thing. And then, to make it even worse, Mike Jerry actually records the fact that he's surprising his fiance with kittens. And it is probably one of the best realization videos ever because of the, the sheer shock of a kitten when you bring it in and see someone's face when you see it for the first time. It's kind of like when I go into the candy aisle and uh, they have a new candy that I haven't tried. There's just tears, just so many tears. So yes, you get to see this very adorable couple who recently got engaged and then they're two equally as adorable cats. Yes, sit there and try to wallow in that for a little bit because ugh. Sorry, I got a little bit sick there. And then finally, we get to it. Number one. Number one is probably the most perfect couple because they're so young, they're so cute, and they're British. So they got the accent going too. So keep, keep it up. That fucking British accent though. My Siri is a British accent. It's a male British accent, but it, it gets me a little bit. How are you today? I'm happy to be alive. See, I mean, come on. Even when it's digitally British, it turns me on a little bit. Well, now that I've gotten a little bit awkward and steamy in here, uh, let's move on to the fact that we are talking about two people that are not me and Siri. Actually, that'll be the next sickening couple, Chad and Siri. Well, the next couple is Zoe Sugg and Alfie Dates from Zoella in the Pointless Blog. 
Zoe Sug and Alfie Days. They both have vlogs so you get to see their lives and see everything that they do and all their new excursions that they're going on and all these cute little things that they do for each other and hanging out with their adorable family with their adorable dog with a bulging eye that creeps me a little bit out but also kind of cute. And you just sit there and think, why isn't this my life? And then you realize you don't have 10 bajillion subscribers on YouTube and all this YouTube money coming at you. So that might be why that's not your life. Not only do you get to see them, you get to see their friends, their family, and see how cute they are all together and the whole life that they live, this, this beautiful life that they're living. And sure, they get in each other's nerves and probably do things that piss each other off, but at the same time, they truly enjoy each other's company, at least as far as it comes to the vlogging part. I mean, we don't know what happens behind closed cameras, so uh, they might hate each other. We don't know. They might be just be doing it for the camera. Granted, they vlog a lot. Like, it's, it's countless hours of just constant vlogging, so I can't imagine, unless they're, they're that good at it, that they are hiding enough. I mean, people pick up on stuff on YouTube. They pick up on it instantly like I could have something in the background right now and someone's gonna be like that's a hint to something in the future and it might be I don't know we'll figure it out I don't know could, what does that mean well that's all I have to talk about with YouTube couples because they make me sick and if I think about it too long I'll pretty much just throw up so you tell me some of the other YouTube couples that you think are sickening or just cute. Let's just talk about cute. They don't have to be sickening. They could just be cute. So put that in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you can always be updated on things that I post. And also don't forget I have social media so you can find those in the description below as well as my other channel What's It To You Productions where you can see me and a bunch of other people and we do some funny things on that channel. So go and check that out. It'll also be in the description below. And until next time...